Hey, it's Wes Clark Jr. Uh, just wanted to go over a quick after action review for everybody. Um, understood logistics have been atrocious and chaotic. Part of that's the nature of self-organizing. Part of it's how quickly the money comes through from GoFundMe. But uh, most of it is simply a short time scale. We expected, even though 2,000 people showed up, we really only expected about 1,500 and 4,000 showed up. So it's been a huge tax on the supply chain as well as accommodations and everything else. Now, I understand everybody didn't get to take part in everything and we're really sorry about that. But if you think about what you did, simply by getting on that bus and coming out here, you've changed things. You prevented that camp from being attacked on the 5th. You probably got the Corps of Engineers to go ahead and deny the easement to save lives and prevent violence. And for folks who are out here and have experienced this, you know, it's like been a spiritual call for a lot of us. Here in the, at the casino where I'm sitting right now, it's about quintuple capacity, sleeping 10 people per room, as well as several hundred in the main auditorium and even in the halls. We have any fights, we have any problems yet. Folks are helping out with cleaning things, carrying things, cooking. Everyone's getting along like one big family. We're all sitting inside as it snows and comes down. And hopefully it's gonna, you know, ease off a little bit so we can go home. You know, we've done a lot up here. And we're not the big time heroes. The big time heroes are the people who were here all fall, who were getting abused, who were taking it and not knowing if anyone was ever gonna come and help them out. It's not completely over. But I think, to a large extent, it's mission accomplished for us. Right now, what we need to do is think about the people we've met, try and keep in touch with them, try and think about, you know, who is really responsible, who really worked hard, who you want to work with in the future, because we're not done. There's a lot of tribes out there facing issues with sovereignty and how the U.S. government treats them. And there's a lot of communities in this country who are facing serious problems that our political system isn't addressing. These are problems that relate to, you know, everything from equal protection under the law to the Bill of Rights. So we're gonna be doing a lot more in the future. And just to lay out, as soon as all this money's been spent reimbursing people uh, and helping pay for travel and the equipment and everything else, we'll put out a list so everybody knows what all the money was spent on. But, you know, we kind of like to stay together as an organization and there's never gonna be any salaries. There's never gonna be any headquarters. But, you know, we'll do mission every couple of months to try and do some good, try and spread the love, try and spread the peace, and try and build a better world that doesn't feel like a police state or a prison that we're all locked inside of. This is Wes Clark Jr. Thanks for taking the time.